It's your girl, Valencia Griffin Wallace, lifestyle designer, boat and boldness coach. When you get here, go ahead and send some likes and some love. Say hey, boo, and let me know you're here. And I'm going to get started today shortly. Make sure you share the video because today I'm going to talk about how to get over it and get on with it. What am I talking about? Bad relationships. Whether it's your friends, family, whatever. I'm going to tell you how to get over it and get on with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, we're going to talk about bad relationships, right? So you, you all could identify with that. Some of you are in them right now. Some of you guys can relate. Okay? So let's talk about what is a bad relationship. I'm going to make it really simple. Hey, boo. I'm going to make it real simple. A bad relationship is a relationship that makes you feel bad. Period. There's no if, ands, and buts. There's nothing to add to that. There's no comma, no question mark. If a relationship makes you feel bad, that's your key. Ding, ding, ding. It's a bad relationship. Now, I'm not just talking about relationships like you're dating or with your spouse. I'm talking about your friends and family too, boo. We can include everybody in, in that circle. So, I'm going to tell you what to do. Like I said, this video is called Get Over It and Get On With It. So, the first thing you need to do, recognize, uh, hey, Mima, recognize it for what it is. If you're in a bad relationship, don't say it's good on Monday. It's okay on Tuesday and Wednesday it's good. No, something is bad, it's bad. That's probably not going to change. So recognize and admit what it is. It's a bad, messed up relationship. Okay? Number two, do not expect an apology. Do not expect an apology. A lot of times we get hung up and caught up because we're expecting the person we're in a bad relationship with, the person that makes us feel bad, we're expecting them to apologize for their behavior. They may or may not. However, their apology has nothing to do with you moving on. I'm just telling you. I mean, in an ideal world, people will apologize for hurting you, but a lot of times people don't even recognize that they've done something bad to you. Or they may recognize it and may not care. You're caring too much. And if I'm breaking up, guys, please let me know because on my end, I look good. Okay? Number three, ask yourself, what are you allowing? So when you think about this bad relationship, what are you allowing? I posted something the other day about participating in other people's drama. You need to stop that BS. Stop participating in it. Okay? Ask yourself, what are you allowing? People can only treat you how you allow them. Hey, Kia, people can only treat you how you allow them. And I'm just real talk. And I'm telling you from experience, you guys know, I'm not talking about what I read, what I heard, a conversation. I'm telling you a life that I live when I realized the friends, family, and other people, the people I was in relationships with, why did they treat me so bad? Valencia, you were allowing it. So, ask, what am I allowing? Stop allowing it, okay? Number four. Stop thinking you could change people. Hey, Gina, you are not God. You did not, you're not their mom. Or you may be their mom. You might be having a bad relationship with your kid. I don't know. But at the end of the day, people only change what they want to change. People only change when they see it's a problem. Not because you see it's a problem. So stop thinking that you could be nice and sweet. You could uh, do your hair different or your makeup different. Maybe if you called that friend once a day. Maybe if you were more compliant with that family member that all of a sudden they're going to stop treating you like crap and making you feel bad. Because what I'm telling you is not going to happen. So stop thinking that there's something you can do that will change this bad relationship to a magically good one. Okay, 
those are my four tips and I'm, if you guys see me looking this way I wrote notes I wrote notes because when it's something I'm seriously serious about I will write notes okay so I want you guys to these are some bonus notes I'm gonna throw on you real quick number one stop participating in the BS somebody want to argue with you you argue back you're participating and I'm not going to lie, I am quite guilty of this one because I like to get the last word. But participating is more, participating is more than that, right? Participating is if somebody makes you feel bad and you're participating in that relationship. Sometimes we, we add fuel to the fire when we really want to put the fire out. Why? Because you're participating. Stop. Number two allowing these are my bonus my little extra tips allowing stop allowing yourself to be treated bad people will treat you and i constantly say this why because this was a revelation to me in my own life when i stopped allowing people to treat me like i wasn't filling a blank they stopped and guess what if they didn't stop I put them out of my life. Like I said, this is the get over it and get on with it. I got over it and I got on with it. Because if you, if your definition of loving me and being a friend to me or being in a relationship with me is treating me and making me feel bad, then I kind of probably need to let you go. I'm just telling you, I don't want any relationships. I don't want any friends. I don't want any family members damn sure not my husband, to make me feel bad. So like I said, what are you allowing? Exactly, Tasha, to the left. To the left with it. Life is way too short for you to allow people to treat you like you don't matter. I'm, if nobody tells you today, you matter. Okay? You see my t-shirt, my sweater? Uh, obsessed with me. I'm obsessed with the woman who I am and the woman I'm growing to be, right? I, I'm obsessed with that. The fact that loving me allows me to love other people and it teaches them how to love so they can love on other people. I'm obsessed with my growth. I'm obsessed with that. And I know in order to continue to grow, I have to stop allowing pe me, people to treat me like I don't matter. You could treat me how you want to treat me, but from the other side of the door. And I'm going to get into that uh, in shortly. Okay? Number three, <laughs> stop expecting people to change. When you look at the people in your life, you start evaluating those relationships. Ask yourself, am I participating in the BS? Am I allowing them to treat me bad? And I am I expecting them to change? Okay, so one second, let me flip my page. All right, this is why I'm about to get into the to the good stuff. I'm about to get into good stuff. Pens and papers ready, classes in session. So I'm about to tell you guys really quick, real fast, real Valencia like unleashed and everything. What the heck define you is about. Y'all know that is my hashtag. That is what I have grown to do. And my, my mission, my purpose in life is to help not only women, but people to define themselves. And I'm going to tell you the words define you tonight is going to have a different meaning when it comes to getting over and moving forward from those bad relationships. Okay, so you guys ready? The D, detox from the past. Detox from the past. E, expect better. Not only from the people who are in your life, but expect better for you. Expect better for from you. That's right, guys. Hashtag define you. F, forgive yourself. Guess what, baby? You are not perfect. And, and that is quite okay. Because I'm going to tell you, imperfect people, oh, we do some real stuff. We change the world. So that's what I have to say about that. With the F, forgive yourself for whatever you may have done in the past. Whatever you may have done yesterday, forgive yourself. You are not perfect. Stop expecting yourself to be. We're too hard on ourselves with these unrealistic expectations. 
In an ideal world, I'll be shaped like Beyonce about 10 years younger and got myself together 20 years ago. But guess what? It didn't happen. And I'm good. I inspire yourself. And everything I'm going to say has to do with you. That's what Define You is about. It's about you. Inspire yourself. Look at what you've done already in life. You should be inspired that guess what? You either got a phone or a computer. You got internet or some kind of way you watching me. Some people don't have that. Inspire yourself. Look at, you know what? Whew, I've done it. I did this thing called life thus far. And I'm unleashing the rest of my life. Inspire yourself. Sometimes you got to be your own cheerleader. I did a show about that. Uh, I can't remember the guest. Not that long ago. Inspire yourself. It doesn't matter. Hey, Shorty, it doesn't matter what you've done. It don't matter what you've done. Inspire yourself because you have accomplished something in your life that I promise you, your neighbors, some, some friends, some people you grew up with that they haven't done. Congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. And nurture yourself. Yes, that means take care of you. Take care of yourself. You cannot save the world. I know I often wear my Wonder Woman sweater. Guess what? I am not Wonder Woman. I'm not Kevin Gates either. I get tired. Nurture yourself. You cannot save the world. You cannot uh, take care of your family. You cannot uh, unleash on the world. If you're tired, you can't even take care of you. So nurture you, whatever that means. If that means five minutes of silence, if that, if that means closing the door on your kids and not answering that cell phone, do what you need to do to get a peace of mind. Because I'm telling you, it's priceless. And E, the final, and define you tonight. Enjoy life. Yes, I want you guys to be goal getters. I want you to unleash and take over the world and change the world and just, you know, really just do something. But in this process, don't forget to enjoy life. A lot of people who I went to school with, a lot of family members, my own mother did not make it to the age of 40, which is how old I am today. So if you think I'm not going to enjoy my life as much as I can, you got the game twisted. Enjoy life. Guess what? Yeah, today might have sucked. Yesterday may have sucked too. But guess what? Does it suck right now at this moment? Can you tell yourself, I can be powerful. I will succeed. I am. And say your name. I'm just saying. That go back to the I. Inspire yourself. Put on some heels, some makeup, if you, you know. Put on some heels and makeup if you want to. Go play in, in, in your hair. Change your wigs out. Whatever you got to do. Put on clothes to do what? Sit down and watch TV. But you're going to feel better. Enjoy life. Who, who says you can't walk around the house fully dressed? I'm just saying. Don't forget those three statements. I think I posted that last week. I am, I can, and I will. I'm going to tell you. I am Valencia Griffin Wallace. I am relentless. I can succeed and I will change the world one person one one person at a time one facebook live at a time one speaking engagement at a time one book at a time it doesn't matter i know what i will do so what will you do see when i say um get over it and get on with it you got too much life to live to be worried about those bad relationships guess what boo they weren't for you because if they were for you, you wouldn't be questioning them. If they were for you, you wouldn't feel bad about them. Okay? Now, this is my little bonus part of the video. We all have a circle, right? We have a circle of friends. We have a circle of family. We have a circle of people that we connect and network with. I'm going to tell you how to keep your peace of mind. Within that circle, create another circle. You understand what I'm saying? Create another circle. You should always have a circle within a circle. 
And I'm going to tell you why. There are people that I, I'm connected with, that I network with, but some things that's not for them. Some things I don't share with them. Some things I won't do with them. But I consider them to be in my circle. See, the people that's in that smaller circle are the people that when you call them and say, look, I'm two hours away on side the road. I got a flat tire and everything else. See, that circle within the circle going to come save you. That circle within the circle is going to be that person you call when you didn't have too much for the day. When you're ready to give up and punch a hole in a wall. See, that circle in that circle not going to judge you. So I challenge you guys. I encourage you guys to within in your circle, create a smaller circle. That's your ride or die. That's your, that's your ride or die. That's that whether I look cute or don't look cute. That's what I feel like motivating and not motivating. Those those people that gonna pull you up even when you didn't don't know you down. So I'm just telling you. So when I say uh get over it and get on with it. Stop using your energy and your time on the BS. Stop participating. When you recognize that it's a bad relationship ship let it go. Let it go. And I'm going to tell you, if you got a question whether you didn't let a relationship go and you question whether you should have let it go, see if that person come back and apologize or try to reach out to you. Because if you let somebody go that you think is a, a bad relationship, whether it's family, friends, or, or a spouse, or a boyfriend, girlfriend, if they come back and say, hey, what's wrong? How can we fix it? But if they don't come back, that's because they don't care. It's a bad relationship. With that being said, guys, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to uh, go ahead and put them in the, in the comments. And everything, I want to give a shout out to Miss uh, Tasha, Sabrina, I see you. Guys, I don't know how to scroll down while I'm on live. I don't want to mess it up. But I just want to encourage you guys today really to uh, define you. Your relationships don't define you. Okay? Your past does not define you. Today doesn't even define you. Get out of those bad relationships by any means necessary. Stand up for you. Define you. Get over it. Get on with it. With that being said, peace and love. Like, love, share the video. When If you're watching a replay, please say, hey, boo. You know, indulge my southern hospitality tonight. So with that being said, guys, peace and love. Thank you for joining me. Um... Talk to you soon.